Bonjour les amis, we are looking at more ER verbs in the imperative. To ask as in to ask a question and to put something down, to pose it down is poser. How would you say let's ask the question? Posons la question. Using vous, ask them, referring to questions, ask them at the end. The end is la fin. Posez-les à la fin. So you hook on now because it's a positive command. You hook on the word them with a hyphen to your verb. Put it down over there. Your it is feminine and you are addressing tu. Pose là, it's feminine, là-bas, over there. To leave as in to leave someone behind or to leave alone and also to leave something behind is laisser. What does this mean? Laisse-moi tranquille. It means leave me alone, leave me in peace. Okay, they use the word rather than peace, tranquille. Tranquille. It's one of the few I double L words where you can hear the L. Tranquille. We have ville, tranquille, mille, million. Usually I double L is E sound, like girl or daughter is fille. F I double L E. Don't leave me all alone. Addressing vous. Ne me laissez pas tout seul. Or a woman, ne me laissez pas toute seule. Okay, your m goes before the verb in a negative command. Let's leave him in peace. Laissons-le tranquille. Let's leave it here and your it is masculine. Laissons-le ici, or they often say là instead of ici. Laissons-le là. Let's leave it here and this time your it is feminine. Laissons-la ici, or laissons-la là. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Let's leave them here. Laissons-les ici, laissons-les là. Positive commands, you hook on your pronoun to the verb with a hyphen. How would you say leave us, addressing to? Laisse-nous, if you just mean leave us, but if you mean leave us alone, Laisse-nous tout seul ou toute seule. Or, leave us in peace, laisse-nous tranquille. Depends on the context. We have been looking at the imperative mood with direct object pronouns, where me is me in the negative command and moi in the positive command. We have te and toi, him or it is le, her or it is la, us is nous, you is vous, and them is le. But we also have the indirect object pronouns. What's the difference? The difference is a direct object pronoun is directly affected by the verb. For example, you see me, I am being seen directly. Indirect object pronouns receive, usually, usually receive the direct object or the direct object pronoun. So I give something to you the something is the direct object that is being given to you. You are the indirect object pronoun. You are one step further down the line. And although they are all the same except for him, her and them, they have a different meaning. Where m doesn't just mean me. When it's indirect, it means to me or it can mean for me or from me. Usually to, but it can sometimes mean the others. Te and toi become to or for or from you. Lui, now that changes. Him, when it's a direct object, is le. And her is la. But when it's to or for or from her, it's the same word when it's indirect. Lui. To, for or from us is the same. No one will never change. They're wonderful. We have another change. To, for or from them is leur. They are all the same except for we have this lui leur instead of le l'aller. 
we're going to just compare two different kinds of verb here. So if you remember, to keep or to look after is garder. To spoil, as in to give somebody too many things, gâter. To put on, to slip on, to thread, enfiler. To light or to switch on, allumer. We have, though, verbs that are sometimes followed by another word. Often, a, with an accent on. Sometimes, pour. Most of the time, it's a. For example, to speak or to talk is parler a, because you speak to someone. To give, donner a, because you give something to someone. To tell, as in to tell a joke, a story or a tale, the ER version. Raconter a, because you tell a tale to someone or a joke to someone. To explain something to someone. Expliquer a. So what is to speak or to talk to someone? Parler a quelqu'un. So how would you say speak to me, bearing in mind that to me is the same as me. Positive command, the mob has to become moi. Parle-moi. If it's the vous, it's parlez-moi. The moi replaces à moi. It's one word in French, it's two in English, usually, not always. Don't speak to me ever again. This is a pyjama situation, a PJ. Ne me parle plus jamais, PJ, plus jamais. Or, the vous version, ne me parlez plus jamais. Using to speak to Julien tomorrow. Parle à Julien demain. But speak to him or speak to her tomorrow is one word in French. Parle-lui demain. Okay. If you're not sure, you should know who you're talking about at this stage. But if you're not sure, then you can add on à Julien or à lui or à Monique or à elle at the end. Using to. Don't speak to him or don't speak to her anymore. Negative command. The pronoun, indirect object pronoun, comes before the verb. Ne lui Parle plus. Never speak to him or never speak to her again. Addressing to the PJ situation. Ne lui parle plus jamais. Using vous. Speak to them tomorrow. To them. Hook it on with a hyphen. Parlez-leur demain. To them. Leur. Just them is les. Don't speak to them, addressing vous. Negative command. The indirect object pronoun goes before the verb with negative commands. Ne leur parlez pas. Still using vous, don't speak to them anymore. Okay, not anymore, no longer. Ne leur parlez plus. You replace the pas. With the other negative sandwich, the ne plus sandwich. Ne leur parlez plus. Not pas plus. Never speak to them again, addressing vous. Never again, not ever again. Ne leur parlez plus jamais. To give something to someone. Donner quelque chose à quelqu'un. Using vous. Give the money to Monique today. Donner l'argent à Monique aujourd'hui. Using vous, give the money to her. To her is one word in French and it's hooked on with a hyphen. Donnez-lui l'argent. In theory, you should know about whom you are talking, but if it's not obvious, you can add on the person's name or say to her. À Monique ou à elle, for example. Let's give them the money. Donnons-leur l'argent. So notice in English here, we haven't said to them because of where we've placed the word them. This is an English thing. So you have to think in your mind, is it them 
or does it imply to them? Because if it's to them, you need the indirect object pronoun leur rather than les. We could have said in English, let's give the money to them. But we can move them, can't we? The word them. If it implies to them, it's leur. Give me the money, addressing to. Donne-moi l'argent. Don't give me the money today. Still addressing to. Ne me donne pas l'argent aujourd'hui. Using to. Give them the money. To them. Donne-leur l'argent. Don't give them the money. Still addressing to. Ne leur donne. Nice clear N there. Ne leur donne pas l'argent. Give it to Monique. We are addressing to and your it is masculine. Okay. Give it is direct. Give it, not give to it or to him. Donne-le à Monique. So in that sentence, the le is the direct object and the indirect object is Monique. The money is being given to Monique. Using to again, give it to Monique. This time your it is feminine. Donne-la à Monique. Give them to Monique. Addressing to. Donne-les à Monique. Direct object pronouns. Le, la, les. What happens when we get more than one object pronoun? Well, in French, there's a special order. And with the imperative mood, I'm really sorry, but the order is slightly different depending on if you are giving a negative command or a positive command. With the negative command, the pronoun order is the same as in a normal sentence. So you have a triangle. And the first column of the triangle is anything, any pronoun that does not begin with the letter L. So we have in the first column that will come first, m, t, nous, and vous. And it's a triangle, so it's going down in number. Now we have three, and these are the sort of normal direct object pronouns, the le, la, les. And then we finish off on a two, which are the weirder ones, the indirect object pronouns, lui and leur. So that is the normal order when you're giving normal sentences and the order for negative commands. However, when we get to the positive commands, there is a shift. The le, la, le now comes first and everything else comes after. Not forgetting that m becomes moi and te becomes toi. The rest stay the same. Let's have a practice. So, don't give it to me. Negative command. Look at the negative triangle. Ne me le donne pas. Me comes before the le in our triangle. But give it to me. Donne le moi. And actually, it's in the same order as the English, as long as you include the word to in English. Don't give it to me. And your it is feminine, you're addressing to. Ne me la donne pas. Give it to me. Addressing to and your it is feminine. Donne la moi. Now if these feel strange, the best way to make them more familiar is to just say it a few times. So that it becomes more familiar. Donne la moi, ne me la donne pas. Donne le moi, ne me le donne pas. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Don't give it to him. You are addressing to and your it is masculine. Ne le lui donne pas. Because the le goes before lui. Give it to him. Addressing to and your it is masculine. Donne-le lui. Don't give it to her. Addressing to and now your it is feminine. 
ne la lui donne pas. Give it to her, addressing to your it is feminine. Donne la lui. Don't give them to them. Addressing to. Ne les leur donne pas. The les comes before the leur. Still addressing to. Give them to them. Donne les leur. Donne les leur. Sounds quite nice actually. Don't give it to us. Addressing to. And your it is feminine. So it's a negative command. To us, nous, comes before your it. Ne nous la donne pas. Give it to us. Addressing to it and your it is feminine. Okay, now la comes before the nous. Donne la nous in the positive command. So, That's a good one to practice. Ne nous la donne pas, donne la nous, donne la nous, donne la nous, donne la nous. Get familiar with the sound of it. You don't have to use it. You can avoid the imperative usually by saying can I, using pouvoir. How would you say leave it on the table for me? Addressing to, it is feminine. Laisse la moi sur la table. So you could say, laisse-la sur la table pour moi. You could say that. But a lot of French people, here's an example of saying for me rather than to me, would say, laisse-la moi. Get used to the sound of it. Laisse-la moi, laisse-la moi, laisse-la moi. Using vous this time. Leave it, masculine it, on the table for him. Okay, positive, the it, the le goes before the, for him, to him, lui. Laissez-le lui sur la table. You could say, laissez-le sur la table pour lui. But what you will hear a lot of the time is laissez-le lui sur la table. Using vous, leave it on the table for her. Your it is masculine. Okay, it's the same, isn't it? Laissez-le lui because for her is the same as for him. Lui, sur la table. Using vous. Now your it is feminine. Leave it on the table for them. Laissez la leur sur la table. You could say, laissez-la sur la table pour eux or pour elles. Because pour is a preposition and we have a different set of pronouns that come after prepositions with the very long name object of a preposition pronouns. It's the ones that come after the word avec, with. We have moi, toi, lui, elle, nous, vous. And then for them it's eux and elle. The verb to tell as in to tell a joke or a story or a tale Raconter, raconter une blague, raconter une histoire ou raconter un conte. Ah. Tell it to them. Addressing to and your it is feminine. Raconte la leur. Tell it to us. You're addressing to and your it is feminine. Imagine you're talking about une blague, a joke which is feminine. Raconte la nous. Oh, don't tell us it again. Addressing to, and your it is still feminine. Okay, think about the triangle. It's negative. The nous has to come before the la. Ne nous la raconte pas encore. Il y en a marre, il va des neufs. To explain is expliquer à, because you explain something to someone. Explain it to me, addressing vous, and your it is masculine. Expliquez-le-moi. 
using vous again and your it is masculine. Don't explain it to me again. I've understood. Ne me l'expliquez pas encore, j'ai compris. Let's explain it, your it is feminine, to them again. They haven't understood. Expliquons la leur encore. You could say once again, encore une fois. Ils ou elles n'ont pas compris. What's to buy? We have acheté pour, to buy for. Or if you're buying from, it's not de. The French use a. Ah. Ha ah, ha ah, ah. ha. Acheté à ah, quelqu'un. So, to buy something for someone, acheter quelque chose pour quelqu'un. But to buy something from someone is acheter quelque chose à quelqu'un. It's the context that would help you to know which. Acheter is one of our little quirky ER verbs. It changes its E to the grave E before a mute E. Lots of E's there. So, you say j'achète and you have a grave accent on all the conjugations except for nous and vous, which are very square, and go back to the spelling of the infinitive. Buy it for me, addressing to and your it is masculine. Okay, little spoiled child. Achète le moi. But, buy it from me. It's the same. Achète le moi. It depends on the context. To send, envoyer à. This is one of our oye verbs. So with verbs that end in O-Y-E-R or U-Y-E-R, the Y becomes I in all the conjugations except for nous and vous, which go back to the spelling of the infinitive because they're too square to change. Send it to me. Your it is masculine. So if you're addressing to, it would be envoie-le-moi. And vous would be envoyez-le-moi. Don't send it to me yet. Okay, not yet. Pas encore. Ne me l'envoie pas encore. Oh, the vous, ne me l'envoyez pas encore. To lend. Prêt. Are you lend something to someone? Let's lend them to them. Prêtons les leurs. To borrow. So we say to borrow from, but the French will say emprunter à. Let's borrow them from them. Them them. Empruntons les leurs. To bring something to or for someone. Apporter quelque chose à ou pour quelqu'un. Bring it to us tonight. Addressing to and your it is feminine. Apporte la nous ce soir. To suggest, to propose, but mostly this is used for to suggest. Proposer à. Let's suggest it to them that it is masculine. Proposons le leur. To ask for something from someone is demander à. Using to and your it is feminine, ask him for it. Demande la lui. Don't ask him for it yet. Still to and still a feminine it. Okay, we split the not yet, don't we, here? But the French keep it together. Pas encore. Ne la lui demande pas encore. Let's ask them for it. Your it is masculine now. Demandons le leur. But to ask something to someone, like a question, for example, is poser à. Let's ask Julien the question. 
posant la question à Julien. Let's ask him it right away. Your it is feminine. Posant la lui tout de suite. Using vous and your it is feminine. Ask him it quickly. Posez la lui vite. And often the French add on fait for quickly. Posez la lui vite fait. Quickly done. Make it snappy. To prepare, but we often say instead of prepare, to get ready. Something for someone is préparer pour. So don't try and look for get and ready. Use préparer. <laughs> Using vous. Get the dinner ready for the guests. Préparer le dîner pour les invités. Invité. The invited. Get it ready for them now. Using vous and your it is masculine. Préparez le leur maintenant. Maintenant. Don't get it ready for them yet. We're addressing vous and it's still a masculine it. Ne le leur préparez pas encore. Et voilà les amis. De le la le leur, moi me. I know it's confusing, but just get your ear tuned in to the sound. It will come with time, perseverance, tears, etc. Bravo. À la prochaine fois. <laughs>